So, rifle match 3C, heavier punch, Banshee 3M, monster respectable weapon with better than average speed and armor. Very poor heat management. So, sends it to storage. 3M, sends it to storage. Wake class complete. Yes. One tiny little locust remaining. Your rank is elite. Thank you very much. Uh, I wasn't so sure about these riflemen, so uh, let's see. Where are they? They are heavy max. Oh. Ah, here he is. Yeah. Scrap him. Okay. Very, very, very good. Let's take another look at the store. Commando, Hatchet, Locust 1 V. Wrong kind of Locust. I need this. Rifleman 3 C, Thunderbolt, Zeus. Bunch of stuff. Black Market, Annihilator Parts, Atlas Parts, Awesome Parts. Banshee 3E, Banshee 3S, Bullshark, Crap, Cyclops, Javelin, Javelin, Hatchet Man, Javelin, Zeus. And a big ass medium pulse laser. Buy this one. New weapon systems available. Two of them. Cool. Which means I need to go somewhere where there are easy contracts now. Twenty one days. Twenty seven days. We could end it on Hero Titus. That actually sounds like a very fun map, uh, of a kind of thing to do. There is periphery, level civilization, medium gravity planet, small population, terror world, travel hub, chemicals, black watch, yeah. We are going to end our campaign on Hero Titus. It's a pleasure planet. Uh, recreational world, hedonism. Yes. Let's travel over here. Now, it's only a one skull planet uh, which we need because we want to fight easier missions so that we can fight locusts ready to go over financials whenever you are yeah pay them normally i won't outfit a light mech lens i have my medium lens my 210 light um, lands, which I will probably be using to hunt for some locust ass. Wedding of the rich and famous. Ooh, King Wolf. I will allow him to be gone. King Wolf again. I think this is his second time wedding. <laughs> so he won't be there when we finish the campaign, which is kind of sad. And with a bit of luck, uh, the remaining mech parts will be available in the local shop. And with that, we can see the end of the campaign coming in. I had a ton of fun with Battle Mac. 
won't end right here well maybe it, it could end right here if we find the remaining mech parts in the shop then that's it then i don't have to do anything anymore and then i will probably immediately end the game well not immediately as if uh so it sounds like a rage quit no 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 quite the opposite but yeah i'm pretty much at the point where i can say i have played more than enough battletech and i'm happy to not have to play it anymore <laughs> it was a real real great experience as always and you always make it as difficult as you put it to yourself the warning while on hirotitos talk to him no lasting consequences four three two one, welcome to the Pleasure Planet. What's in the store, please? Archer, Bull Shark, Chicada, Commando, Javelin, Shadowhawk, Thunderbolt, Urban Mech. Okay, the R60 is already in my shop. Bunch of crap, bunch of crap, bunch of crap. Awesome. Banshee 3E, Bullshark M3, Bullshark MAZ, which, oh yeah, that is the very good one. Hatchet Man, Highlander P, I already have that. King Crab, Raven, Stalker, Victor. No Locust parts, so we have to work a bit more for it. Equipment available. So the final missions are coming in. Also, I don't think that I can travel anywhere anymore, so we're basically stuck on Hirotitus. Let's hope for some good contracts. Ah, here. Noisy neighbors against the pirates. Twenty-one days of work. This is okay. Trading day. Trading day. Give me all the loot. Trading day is pretty much. Um, I get some light max. I get two urban max, <laughs> and the commando and mecha Godzilla. Um, which one of these would probably, I would say, the Warhammer? The Warhammer is fast and deadly. It can shoot at all ranges, it can walk in. As is the Atlas. Or the Bull Shark. Now we're going to take the Warhammer. I will be piloting it. And let's hope for some Locust S parts. And if not, then we will just have less points. We're trying to build a local defense force of mech warriors on here on Hero Titus. Our pilots are inexperienced and untested and we'd like you to help us train them. We've picked up a troubling signal which may represent hostile activity, which seems to be a good opportunity to send our new defense force out to handle it. Can you bring us alongside a, an experienced mech warrior and a mech to keep them out of trouble? Small battle, salvage 315. And I have two urban mechs in my lands. <laughs> well, don't underestimate urban mechs. They can, especially in the early game, when you're only running medium mechs. If you see an urban mech, it can be so scary because of that AC-10. Or even because of that AC-20. 
You just sit there and just go boom. Command interface initiated. I love to smell of coolant in the morning. Coolant's toxic. If you can smell it, you're probably gonna die. Uh, wait, um, what does it smell like? But that's, there's a weird smell in here. Focus, people. <laughs> oh, it's... I see two locusts. Very good. I'm good to go, Commander. Um, stubble, Commando. Come on over. What are you? Uh, 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 uh. One M. No, don't want the one M. Let's reserve. What are you? One V. I don't need a V. So you guys are free to destroy these two. Move in. I'm walking here. And splash him. Commander. Urban Mac. Kill. <laughs> Same for you. Urban Mac. Kill again! Ah. Well then, let me just pick up the rest. Split shot. A. B. Split, split. Go for it. Engaging multiple targets. was actually salvage looks like leopard drop company cool no 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 we do want to get the extra salvage a big one a single big one what is that? A 50 ton mech. A centurion! Well, move in. And pepper him a bit. Move up. You don't have to be scared of the Centurion. You have fucking AC tents. Bam! Just like that. Same goes for you. Move up. Pepper him. And once you have the good guns, you can just pepper him like this. Engaging target. Splat! And continue your onslaught. Donk. Also, take off his arm. Doesn't matter. We are going to initiative drop him into the initiative one range. Another precision strike, please. Same parts. And then let's get in there. Splash him again. Engaging target. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. He didn't do anything anymore. <laughs> he just gave up. There we go. One less target. 
Oh, yes, we cleared. Sadly, no Locust won that part. But an interesting mission nonetheless. Especially with two Urban Max. Now, an Urban Max with a new AC20. Now, that's where the fun is. <laughs> Just imagine it. You're just sitting somewhere in the corner and just wait for a mech to walk by and then you just drop out of the corner and bam bam in the back. Uh nobody got hurt. Locust 1v oh, Centurion. I'm going to get all the scrap anyway. Yeah. Too bad, no one has part. Well, it was a fun mission, but let's see if we can find another mission where we can make some salvage. Yeah. 1v, sell it. There are actually only two missions I can do. This will piss off the pirates a bit. And here we can make friends again. So let's do this one first. I want, well, actually, this is fine. And let's bring out the fun max. Hatchet man. Vulcan. Bull shark. <laughs> like I said, the fun max. Uh, let's see, you are, you should be the bull shark. Bearclaw, Vulcan. McRave, Hatchet Man. Who knew that locust hunting would be so annoying? Also, no, I don't think I can jump anywhere anymore. Usually you ta it takes up to two days to reach a jump ship and the jump ship takes up to three days to jump. Wow. Well, I'm stuck on Hero Titus now. Well, with a bit of luck, we can get the locust part. So I'm going to call it. This is going to be the final video. We are going to do as many contracts, um, one <laughs> more in this mission. And let's see if we can salvage that final remaining part of The Locust, 30 ton, 20 ton, 30 ton. This could be it. Show me what you are, Javelin. Go away, Javelin. Nobody likes you. One E. I don't want a one E. I want a one S. Oh, 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 one V. And you're something else. I don't care, actually. Hatchet man. 
run over here. Gear at, punch him in the head. Or kick him. Bam! You obliterate him. Engaging target. Enemy mech destroyed. I hear you. And bull shark kill. He survived that. <laughs> that poor javelin. Oh, you're going to get the hatchet. What's left of you? Your head was almost destroyed. You <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, yeah, hatchet him. This whole attack does a whopping 360 damage. Hatchet! I think he went from the leg through... <laughs> yes. He damaged the leg so much that all his damage went into his right torso and then into his core and in one fell swoop everything exploded. actually have some missiles left. I wasn't expecting that. For order. A kill. On my way. Any reinforcements? One Mission nope. successful. Sadly, no locust part. Well, we got paid a bit, we pissed off the pirates a bit, and give me Locust 1E, Locust 1V, and I will probably get the remaining scrap anyway. Oh no, I didn't, but that's fine. Ooh. Final mission. One E, scrap it. Kick off your shoes. Make yourself comfortable. Wait, what? We're in a spaceship. I won't take off my shoes. Distraction. A battle on the lowlands. Give me all the stuff. <laughs> I need my locust. Uh, same team. This is a fun team. A assault, a heavy, a medium, and a medium. I bring the bull shark along in case I find a grouped, cluttered together group of light mechs, which I do not want to have, and just 
obliterate him with the Fupa Cannon. Oh, I never saw that smoke effect coming out of here. Oh, one is actually working. Oh, there isn't one. It was probably a graphical error. Command interface initiated. This is the place. Time to start the party commander. Our target should be somewhere in the vicinity. Let's hit him hard. And yeah. Oh. I didn't look what they were. I hope that they were locusts. I can hear the reinforcements running around here somewhere. Oh, this looks like a lovely place. Run in. Detected. Locust 1E and a commando. Not the kind of mechs I'm looking for. He's gone. March laser is not a locust S. Yeah. It's fine, mate. Uh, kick the commando. Kick the baby. Oh, I actually survived that. This way, um, melt. All weapons committed. Enemy mech destroyed. I don't think there's anything left. Tanks? I want mechs, not tanks. Well, oh, sprint through these woods, please. Ooh, mech. 35 ton mech. Yeah, this is a raven. But I have my raven cleanup crew. That's yeah, three tanks and a raven. Not really what I was hoping for. Again, ah, it's out of range. Well, Fupa them then. This is gonna be a beautiful kaboom. Wee! Receiving 
Nope. Here. Nope. Here. <laughs> he hit the bull shark. Panther. Oh, oh, oh. You can make it, but you can kick the Panther. <laughs> Still standing. Shoot it again. Boom. Ooh, that's a nice angle. <laughs> Triple kill. Mission successful. Sadly, no locust one as parts. So sad. So so sad. We're missing out on thirty-five thousand um, career score. <laughs> Because of a fucking locust. <laughs> Amazing. I'm pretty sure I've seen lots and lots of locust 1s and just went, ah, oh, do I need this part? Nah, I would rather take this heavy mech part. Mission complete. We got some cash. We got some stuff. Give me the panther part. Give me these parts. There's probably nothing good in here. There is. I will get everything. Give me the heat sinks. I want the heat sinks. Now I could artificially increase my career score by selling all my equipment. We could do that. I have a ton of medium lasers, which I do not need. And probably also a ton of AC-10s that I do not need. And there's also the question, when, does, when do the missions respawn? Do they respawn on a daily basis? In my personal opinion, it would make sense if they re respawn once a month. Ah, uh, scrap it. So, um, store. Seven days remaining. There's still no parts in here. Uh, ballistics. AC2. Let's sell some of these. 
like 14. This gives me another 100,000. AC tents, so like 12 of them. AC 20, so like 7. Wow, I'm only getting a hundred and fifty <laughs> bunch of bastards. Lasers. Forty-one large lasers, so like thirty-one of them. What's a good deal? Two hundred and four medium lasers. Can I put a number in here? No. Oh, max out, perfect. Sell. And all these variants, which I would rather keep. PPCs, how many PP? 56 PPCs. Sell 50. Missile racks, LRM5. Sell 30. LRM10. Sell also 30. LRM 15, sell like 10. LRM 20, sell like 6. SRM 2, sell 15. SRM 4, sell 15. SRM 6, what the fuck? Sell 50 of them. LRM and SRM ammo, I won't sell those. Machine guns, I've got 52 machine guns in here. Jump jets, ah, they don't give any money. Heat sinks, I won't sell heat sinks. Is there anything expensive in here? These TTSs are kind of expensive. But I actually do not want to sell them. Okay. So that increased our score a little bit. Can we move systems? 13 days. 14 days. 13 days. 16 days. 12 days. Wait, what? 14, 19, 17, 13. No, we cannot move. Contracts. None of these contracts can I do. Well then, let's take a look at our score then. We are at 549. Let's sell a bit more. <laughs> I want to have at least 550. Come on. Okay, I can only sell complete max. That's a bit annoying. Sell these. I never use them. These are actually pretty good. Sold. Sell all of these. Sold. 30 million. Is this enough? Bit more. Sell them all. AC5 plus plus, extra accuracy, sell them both. A bit more. <laughs> I won't. Actually, I could sell the Gauss rifle. I will never use this one. As it's far too heavy. But, nah. Sell this LB20X. UAC5, UAC2. Sell this one. Not this one. 
sell this one. So close. What do I still have a ton of? ER large laser. No more large laser, sell them all. They just don't give me that much money. Sell both of them. How is this score, C bills? For each 10,000, I get another point. So, 100,000. Uh, wait, what? 10,000 is a point. So, 100,000 is 10 points, a million is 100 points, I would have to sell about 2.5 million, yeah, I'm not getting that. Okay! Enough min-maxing. This is it. Let's go. End of the week, boys! We are going to complete the career mode. I've got the financial report. Pay them extravagant as a final thank you. Okay, no new contracts. So, zero days remain. What does this mean? Ah, there we go. Survived, veteran mercenary and elite mercenary, three achievements at once, four achievements at once. Sadly, we didn't get the Mech Cassis completion. This would give us another 25,000 points. We also weren't good at all the star systems, also Mech Warrior experiments, we didn't max it out. Could care less. Contracts we did good, we have no allies, we have no enemies. Score details is this screen. We don't need it. We are 100, uh, we have a full mercenary reboot, we have a full uh, morale. Difficulty is at maximum. Well, at maximum score wise, you could go even harder. Yeah, that's it. Oh! I didn't know that. I didn't know that, that you get a chest at the end. And ERPPC, if we now, if we get the, right, the remaining Locus S part, I'm going to scream. <laughs> we got a ERPPC, which is good, but not too good because basically, yeah, the range is good. A grasshopper part, AC10, a good LRM, a good SRM, a good medium laser. Look at all these decent items. Fire starter part, which we just completed. Jenner, Panther. <laughs> Sell it. Career completed. We cannot increase this anymore. I hope you enjoyed it all. I thank you all for enjoying me, uh, joining me on this ride. Let's take a final look at our mech bay. We have this annihilator here with five ACs on it. Mechagodzilla. It basically obliterates anything it sees. It has no lasers because who the fuck needs lasers and it just shoots and shoots and shoots. At some point we found another Annihilator. <laughs> uh, he has basically the same loadout, only a bit upgraded. Instead of AC2, AC2, AC5, AC5, he has AC5, AC5, AC10, AC10. So he... But he has a lower damage output, 420 versus 560. 
However, we rarely use the UAC-20, only if we get in range and it only happens when the enemy comes to us. We have an Atlas II, the biggest, baddest mech in the game. What can I tell you about it? It's just that good. If you have one of these, you have basically won the game. Then we have his little brother, the normal Atlas. Also a pretty fun mech. Um, I think... Yeah, the normal Atlas has a little bit less armor and a little bit less uh, firepower. Five. Where does this crook number come from? 595. F59. Who is crooked? Oh, the Infernos. Yeah, they do four damage. <laughs> And he has only all of the damage capability, so the Atlas II is a significant upgrade. Also, they attacked out a little bit different. We have the King Crab. This King Crab does not have two AC-20s, which is this usual layout, which is far too insane because you actually it's, it's not really usable. Instead, this is more or less a supporting missile boat with large lasers and flamers, so it's a fire King Crab. Had a ton of fun with this build. The Bull Shark, yeah, this is. This is almost the stock loadout. I just upgraded one of the uh, AC5s to a better UAC5. Uh, fun mech. I love the Thumper Cannon. This thing runs hard as hell. And its armor is not the best, it's actually more a backline kind of mech. So, but if you keep that in mind, you can have a fun, a ton of fun with this mech. I'm also glad that it never ever wrecked it. It got damaged most of the times, but it never got wrecked. So it still got all its equipment in it. Cyclops, always love the Cyclops, especially because of the battle computer. It gives you all an increased um, initiative value. And he's a very good supporting mech. He's also pretty fast, I've noticed. Well, must have been something else. Orion V. Now, these are pretty fun mechs. Less armored than their Orion K variants, but they come with more missiles. And in my books, more missiles is more fun. And yeah, very good combat mech. Archer. It's fun. It's another catapult style mech. This missile suit is pretty decent. It allows you to cluster your long range missile shots together or increase your uh, stability damage of your short range missiles, which I did in this build. I tried it once out and wasn't too amazed with it. The long range missile variant is definitely better. A good support mech, but that's about it. Warhammer. Now yeah, this thing, <laughs> I kind of went overboard with this one. He, an Alpha Strike is 82 heat, but that's including the small lasers. He has a 50% heat reduction, so he can use two SNAP++ PPCs and has a damage output of 480 laser based only. You can fire continuously forever. And the ER medium lasers are also pretty cool. They do 45 damage and are basically large lasers at less tonnage and less slots. And he has some arm mods in there and some double heat sinks so to manage the heat even more. This thing is just amazing. Same with the grasshopper. As always, he is a light mech killer and medium mech killer. Even hard mechs have a hard time against him. Um, this one is a flamer variant, which is also pretty fun, in a, especially in hot, mat, hot maps. You just take this guy out and you just flame one guy and shoot another guy and that's pretty much it. Dragon. I love the dragon, but yeah, these guys just need work. If you want to use his ACR arm and his LR and his missiles nose, then he will be running low on armor. And yeah, dragons, I don't know. They look cool, they are fun to play, but somehow there are just better mechs out there. 
especially in the heavy mech class the only good thing about the dragon is he's fast he is faster than yeah <laughs> he's faster than your average heavy mech because he's on the edge of medium max but medium max are just so much better griffin yeah nothing much to say about the griffin it flies it shoots it packs a little punch same same with the shadow hawk it flies it shoots it has a punch phoenix hawk now i couldn't test this guy sadly but i like his two guns <laughs> I do like this his design and I do like his uh, jetpack. He can't fly, but he can jump really good. Hatchet man, especially the X variant. Absolute murder machine. This you do not want to go to melee combat with this guy. He will just wreck you. Same with the Vulcan. If you get one of these guys, these guys are absolutely amazing. Either make a melee build out of him and kick the butts of people because of his close quarters combat suits uh, he can't be punched back or well, at least not that easy or make him a small laser um, or a, a light weapon um, what's it called a light man a weapon master because he adds 90 meters to these light weapons so they have the range of normal medium lasers he has you can do some interesting builds with this guy and also He's fast. He runs like hell. Raven. Nothing much to say about the Raven. He has the ECM uh, equipment on it. And this Raven has a tag laser and an arc beacon. Which is also pretty fun. But yeah. I don't know. Supporting mechs are not on my high priority list. Because usually... Before I put one of these out, I just put out some additional firepower and just blow my way through it. Um, even on the mission where you get a Raven, I immediately lost his um, his ECM equipment and had to work around the LRMs coming in, and I also was able to do that. So, fun Mac, but and, yeah, yeah, that's it. Let's take a look at our mech warriors. Here they all are. How's it going? I found someone, uh, some of these uh, Kickstarter backers. So thank you, Beerclaw. Thank you, Gearhead, and thank you, King Wolf, as Majestic and McGrave and Mummy Bear for backing this amazing game. Because of you, I had a ton of fun. Also, here's me. I didn't back the game, so uh, shame on me. But wow. <laughs> That's a ton of experience points. <laughs> Let's take a look at my service record. 132 deployments, 226 kills, 60 other kills. I got injured 23 times. I never ejected. The only pe person who ejected here is Beetle. Yep. Beetle ejected twice. And I think... Wait, I have another one who ejected. Was it Mummy Bear? Was it Mummy Bear? In the final confrontation with... Yeah, you ejected once. In the final confrontation with uh, in the mini flashpoint campaign, I had to eject. Also, uh, Slack had also to eject. Confirmed. And yeah. Confirmed. Yes, Commander. Final thoughts about the game. It's fun as always. Um, I do hope that well they they, they tweaked the um, skill system a bit more. It's getting better, but still. I don't know. There's still some things missing. Dual shot is always amazing. Uh, but some skills I just never use. Uh, same with Ace Pilot. I do have it on some of my guys, but I just never used it. Same with the higher initiative bonus. I don't see a problem with it. If you have a good standing or a good uh, local tactics value, uh, not, that's wrong. If you're just applying, uh, if you make use of your surroundings during combat, you do not need to have another high initiative value. It's just not really there. I know you can do some shenanigans with reserving to the end of the round and then starting at the beginning of the next round to get double uh, actions, but that's not my gameplay. I like to just go in, shoot everything up, and go out. Now, 
important we actually did lose one mech warrior glitch i was really happy to find glitch in the game because she you start with her in the campaign and she was only on 12 deployments and then she got shot in the head <laughs> a random ac 10 shots uh blew her head off um and yeah <laughs> kind of sad <laughs> Nevertheless, um, yeah, she was there. So, final thoughts. Let's take a maybe a look at the map. Did some new flashpoints maybe pop up? Some after campaign flashpoints? No. We've been around. I think we started over here, I think. And we did, I think, a loop like this. Then we went down here. Then we went over here. Uh, then we worked our way up here, uh, went once over and back, and then down again, and now uh, down again, up again, and now we're here. <laughs> uh, which is kind of fun. It would be also amazing to see if we could get, uh, if you could get a video of your travels over these past three years in game. Um, but yeah, black market access. We got it late, which is kind of sad because the black market has some amazing equipment in it. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So, um, can I see some more information over here? Crests? No, no. Company name? No. Uh, we could take a look at what's going on. Ooh, what's that back? At our reputation. Um,. I should also ally. Let's ally with the pirates. Confirm. Bam. That's that achievement done. <laughs> it's the end of the game, so I can do it. Um, yeah, we had perfect standing with the Federated Sons, Draconis Combat, the Free League to a World, the Lurian Commonwealth, and the Arana Restoration. Uh, however, we absolutely discussed the Capellan Confederation and the Territorian Co Corridor. Which is fine. And we just hunted another achievement. So, without further ado, thank you all for watching. We're going to quit this game on Herotitus. We're going to enjoy our stay on Herotitus for as long as we can spend our 12 million and spend it all on Herotitus hookers. <laughs> um, what's next? Uh, next week? will probably be not uh i won't be playing as much because it's the last week of work this year and i have to get my things done and after that or maybe even sometimes next week we will be beginning a factorio let's play with way too many mods again so if you like what you're seeing please do leave a like or subscribe on youtube or if you're watching this on twitch please do leave a follow I'm mainly doing this for my personal fun, but each like and each subscribe and each follow does help me out in a bit. So if you like what you're seeing, please do. If you don't, then don't. I don't care. <laughs> and I wish you a good night. Until then.